guys, today's video is going to be current favourites. Um, now I've not actually been wearing a tremendous amount of makeup recently and so I don't have a lot of beauty favourites to share with you. Nothing that's kind of new. I'm going to talk about a few things which I've probably talked about before in the past but, um, or at least one of them I know I definitely have, but things that have kind of stand out for the month but not much of it is going to be makeup. I'm trying a lot of new stuff right now. None of it I feel like I've tried for long enough to warrant uh, it being mentioned in a favourites video. Um, but I also haven't really, I just haven't done a lot of makeup. Lots of different lip colours, um, lots of bright lips, but kind of the same old everything else. So I'm going to kick off with um, a skincare item that I've been really enjoying again recently because my skin's been so terrible. And it's the Effaclar K. Uh, this is for oily skin. And it says it's renovating care. Let me just say, it doesn't actually say what it specifically does on here. It just says to apply morning and or evening. I do this at night, after cleansing, I apply this and um, I feel like it's the kind of product for me that is helping to get rid of some of my breakouts but it's also not drying out my skin. And it's um, all of the La Roche-Posay stuff, whenever I use them consecutively, like night after night after night, after about a week, I start to notice that my pores are considerably less visible. Um, they can't disappear, you've even got to have your pores. Um, but I don't, I don't think that it's something that I would notice if I used it all the time. And it's one of those things that I, I tend to, with skincare, be really, really flighty. I don't really stick to anything as a specific routine. Um, and so whenever anyone asks for my skincare routine, I'm like, I'll talk about the products that I really like, but I'm so rubbish at stuff like this. Like, I go between cleansers, I always cleanse my face, I don't always moisturise, I rarely use an eye cream, I'm rubbish. But when I do use something that is supposed to be um, good for my skin when it is breaking out, it's almost always La Roche-Posay Effaclar stuff. And this has been really, really nice recently. Next is the Sally Hansen Gel Cuticle Remover, which you wouldn't think by looking at my nails if you could look closely, that I had used. My cuticles are horrendous right now and I really need to use this again. Um, I mean, they, seriously, they're so awful. And that's part of the reason that made me think I'm going to pick this out because I'm going to use it today. It's so good. If you've got dry, flaky, just gross cuticles like I tend to have all the time, I don't do hand cream, would that help? <laughs> Maybe it would. Um, I don't really do anything. Apart from whenever I do my nails, I use this, which is like a once a week thing. I'll sit down and really, really take care of them and sort out whatever crap has happened to them in the week. Um, this I use, I just kind of put it all around my nails, wait like 30 seconds to a minute, start pushing back my cuticles and rub it all off and it just like rubs it all away. I don't know how it works, it's magic, but it does. I love this stuff. If you are looking for something that is like non-invasive um, and non-like cutting and trimming cuticles, but you want something that's going to make them look neat, that's really good. Uh, nail polish I've used a lot this month. Um, I have been incorrectly telling people that it is Huckleberry, um, because that's like a pale blue from Barry M. This is actually sugar apple. So every time I've told you <laughs> that I'm wearing Huckleberry, every time that's been in the description box of a video, I was lying, it's actually this. Every time someone asked me on Twitter, every time someone asked me in the comments, it was actually sugar apple. Apologies. I do really like Huckleberry. I do wear that, but it wasn't that. It was this. I've repainted my nails with it several times this month and I really like it. It's kind of mint candy apple, but by Barry M. Um, and I think I actually prefer this formula to the Barry M one as well. Last kind of beauty product is this. Uh, I've been going through my beauty products recently that have been almost used up and thought I'm going to actually use them and this was one of them. Uh, I had a little bit left of it and I'm going to put it on right now. And this is, oh man, I've had a cold. I feel like I've mentioned this every video I've filmed today. I've had a cold for days and I've, I woke up this morning thinking I feel great. And my ears were like finally unblocked and as I go through the day I'm like, oh, I'm like falling apart and my ears are just so blocked. One of them just popped though, that was bizarre. Anyway, moving on. This was my wedding perfume. I bought this just before we got married. We got married five years ago in January. So this is quite old, probably about time this got thrown away. So I'm gonna try and use up the rest of it before I bin it. Um, and I really, really like it. It's, look how old it is. It used to say Vera Wang down there, not anymore. It is Love Struck by Vera Wang. Don't think I mentioned that. Um, and I really like it, it's just a very sweet scent. I'm not going to tell you what it smells like because I'm rubbish. Let's try again. And it probably doesn't even smell like this anymore. It's probably completely changed because I've had it for so long. But it's very floral. It's nothing like I would normally choose. It's actually very alcoholy now. That might have turned. Uh, I might just throw that away. Anyway, some clothing favourites. 
These shoes, I feel like I've already completely destroyed them. They look really knackered, don't they? I've worn them a few times this week. These shoes are so comfortable. They're from Office, they're called the Bermuda Sandals. I will link them below. I bought them for me and I bought them for Ella. I mentioned these in a haul. Um, and I wore these this week. I went to London two days and I just walked, my iPhone told me I walked 13,000 steps each day and I wore these shoes. My feet do not hurt at all, they do not rub, they're almost completely elastic, they're elastic in this section and then this weirdly is like a faux leather I believe with the elastic covering which is strange. So they, they've got maybe a slight stretch to them but they're not elastic, it's strange anyway. They don't move, they don't rub. This section is this faux leather or leather I don't know and this doesn't move either. There was just, they're just the most comfortable shoes. If you are looking for sandals this summer that are not going to hurt your feet, these are the ones that I think they're £25. The other things I want to mention are the shorts that I'm wearing. I mentioned these in a haul as well, they're from H&M. I got them a size up, which I would highly recommend. If I can find them online to link below, I will, uh, if they're still available. But these are super comfortable. They're high rise, they're not too small. I, even though I got a size up, I don't feel like they look too big. Just, again, the most comfortable shorts. Something you're looking for this summer. I like to be able to feel really, really comfortable and shorts are one of those things that I never felt comfortable in. And I feel really comfortable in these. I wanted to also talk about two other things. Um, I'm like, shall I talk about anything else? No, I think two other things is probably fine. One, favorite YouTuber of the month. And it's been the same person really for kind of months and months and months. I find one YouTuber I like, and I don't have a tremendous amount of time that I watch YouTube these days. And so when I get in the bath and I want to watch a YouTube video instead of Netflix, which is rare, um, I will watch her. And that's been Mallory1712. Really love her, recommend her, check her out. This month, I discovered, I was looking for some travel tips traveling with children. And this month I discovered Brummy Mummy of Two. She is fantastic. She's hilarious whether you've got children or not. She vlogs, she does hauls. She is a really real person. Um, and especially in England, it's very difficult to find people that you can really relate to um, on YouTube. I find, I really, really like American YouTubers because even if I don't relate to them, it's kind of so far beyond my life anyway because they live in a completely different country that I'm kind of cool with it. Whereas if it's someone that lives in England, I don't really find a tremendous amount of like northern bloggers, and obviously she's from Manchester. Manchester from Birmingham. I've got Manchester on the brain. Ella wants to go to Manchester for a sleepover and I've got to take her there and back and I'm like, oh, Manchester. Anyway, um, yeah, obviously she's from Birmingham so she's kind of vaguely up north compared to most YouTubers. And she's just so much more relatable than most other people that I watch on YouTube. Uh, and I think if you're looking for someone, especially a, a parent, uh, with small children and you're looking for someone that's going to be a completely normal person that happens to vlog, you will absolutely love her. She's hilarious. I can't recommend her enough. I've been watching loads of her videos and because the kids are in there as well, um, Milo's been really interested in her vlogs too. So yeah, check her out. She will be linked below. The other thing that I wanted to talk about was audiobooks. I've been completely obsessed. I've mentioned podcasts and audiobooks in a previous video and um, this month I have been completely loving uh, according to Yes by Dawn French and it's not, I mean I've not read the actual book, I know that you, you know some people are so against audiobooks as novels. I was talking to Gemma from, I think she's called OMG Gemma on YouTube now, and she was saying that she couldn't imagine listening to a novel rather than kind of a autobiograph autobiographical audiobook, you know like written by the person who's, uh, or read by the person that's written it about their lives, and I completely agreed, like I can't imagine listening to Harry Potter on an audiobook, I don't think I could bond with the characters the same way. But Dawn French, according to Yes, and I don't know if this is the same with the other Dawn French books as well, but according to Yes is read like a play. So lots of people are playing lots of different parts and it completely captured me. I listened to more than half of it in one sitting and I've still got the rest to go, but I absolutely love it. And just FYI, never spoke to anyone at Audible, not sponsored by Audible. I know it's so saturated and so many people are, but I really love Audible. I once upon a time would have said I would have purchased those through kind of um, iBooks or whatever on the iPhone. Don't do that, it's a terrible idea. I bought two books, audio books, on um, the iPhone, like through Apple, and they don't have the rights to it. Like audio books basically got, or Audible basically got the rights to all audio books. And so you can buy it and you can download it once, but then you can't download it again. So when you come to delete it, it says just FYI, when you've deleted this, you won't be able to get it back. So that was gutting. I paid definitely more for the book on there, on iTunes, that I ended up paying for it on Audible, and I've had to purchase those ones again, because I wanted to listen to them at some point, again. So that was the worst, worst, worst thing ever. 
Uh, the only thing that I would ever say don't buy on Apple is audiobooks. Buy them on Audible. You can get deals and you get a free one, but I now do the thing where I pay like £7 a month and I get a, a book every single month, which might sound like a lot, but I listen to an audiobook every month now and I wouldn't necessarily have before. I would have just done podcasts and things, but I've been really enjoying going through books as well. So yeah, check that out. Check out Brummy Mommy of Two. Check out all my links below and thank you for watching. Bye!